If you'd like to get a video featured on the series, then just send me an email following the instructions on the screen. Essentially what it is, is that you guys can send me your submissions of your albums on khuxtracker.com containing all of your individual medals for me to look at. Ask me questions related to setups, and I'll personally go over in a video like this one my thoughts and advice on creating the best setup solely based completely on what you have. Hey guys, welcome back to the Kingdom Key series for today's episode. We're going to go ahead and take a look at Kagusuchi's album for today. And now, just to kind of give some context as to what exactly we're going to be looking at for today, uh, they he sent me an email saying, Hi, my name is Kagusuchi. After two months, I was unable to play, and I have some problems with event quests now. I am using this current fairy setup right now. Send me a link. Full damage friend metal like Lexius Plus. I'm trying to do all I can, like Le like Coliseum and Organization 13 events, but it's really hard. Help me out. I almost forgot my album. Blah, blah, blah. Thanks for all. You are the best. Okay, so Kagusuchi, uh, when taking a quick look through your album, <laughs> you... There's honestly not too much to work with in terms of trying to make a, you know, best setup type thing. You only really have a handful of metals that are actually, like, worth going using, if that makes sense. Now, you went ahead and the link that you sent me in terms of the current... Now, this is the current setup that you sent me in your email about what you are currently using right now. And... Although, I, I can definitely see what you're trying to do here, okay? Uh, I can tell that obviously this is for copying the Lexius that's going to be in the friend slot right here. And I can see as well, you're going the more old school approach. What used to be the metal like a year ago, which is where you would uh, use a copy metal to copy the Kairi EX. And then you would use the 358 Days Riku over here. Uh, she owned copy final form Sora and yeah, then the friend medals and such. Okay, this is basically the old school meta uh, setup from an, a, about a year ago or so. Now, in case anybody it doesn't understand how this setup works, and because I can clearly see what you're trying to go here, um, you're basically trying to get all your buffs and debuffs right here. Uh, the only thing that's missing, and actually, I don't even know why I'm using my uh, highlighter, I can just use a slider on the left right hand side. By the time you're on the second slot, okay, so by the time you use Kyrie, uh, as it's shown on the here over here on the right hand side, we have all of our PSM and general strength uh, buffs. We only have plus two, I mean plus four, I mean uh, upright strength buffs by this point as well. But we do have most of our debuffs, all right? The only things that we're missing is one more general strength debuff, and we have no upright debuffs right now. And Based on what's currently in the setup, there's nothing to give us upright debuffs. All right, so but I, obviously the reason that you have your Riku right here as well is just because of the fact that you're trying to you know max out your general strength debuffs. I mean general defense debuffs. Now, even though I see what you're trying to do here, um, when taking a look at through your album and stuff, I notice you have a couple medals that you're not really taking advantage of, um, which is going to be primarily this Riku versus Roxas Prime Metal you have right here. As it is right now, the 358 Days Riku that we currently have in game is pretty much severely outdated um, by basically any of the Primes. <laughs> so what you need to do is actually replace that with this instead. And another main problem you have as well with this setup is the fact that your, your HD Final Form Sora isn't guilted at all whatsoever. Now I know you do have some really good skills on them, however I can tell you right now that a guilted uh, version, a guilted uh, speed upright metal or a magic upright metal on either two slots would do a whole lot more damage compared to these unguilted versions. Um, even better if it's seven star, of course, too. Uh, and after saying that, let me go ahead and show you the setup that I made uh, for your fairy stars and said, which is going to be this. This is the setup that I made for you. Let me get rid of that, there we go. This is the setup that I made for you uh, from the medals I saw on your album. Now I want you to take a look at the damage difference between the two, uh, two setups. This is your setup that you're currently using right now. This does about 6 million damage according to the site. And then 
this is the setup that I made for you right now, which does almost 40 million, 40 million damage, <laughs> according to the site. It's a huge difference, and I want to go ahead and show you why real quick, uh, why this is just drastically better. Um, so we kind of went over this already, how these two right here are prim primarily meant to get all of your buffs uh, and most of the debuffs. If we go to slot three over here, uh, come on, slide over. There we go. We have all our general defense down and then we have uh, plus six upright. So you have most of your buffs and most of your debuffs. The only thing you're missing is the upright debuff. Uh, and then you're basically just going straight damage from here. Luckily, like you said before, you're copying Alexius in this slot right here using your nominee. Now here's the problem though, because of the fact that you did ask about getting help on events and like Coliseum and stuff, you're basically asking for an AOE setup. Now unfortunately I can't actually help you make an Organization 13 setup just basically because of the fact that every single Organization 13 event that comes up uh, every single month usually requires their own specific strategies specific to each individual Organization 13 event. So, and, and I have no idea how the next third how the next organization 13 quests are going to be like so it's i can't i can't give you any uh advice in terms of trying to like make a better setup for some the most i can do is just help you understand how to make a better setup in general and hope you can work from there but this is your setup and this is my setup and let me go ahead and walk you through real quick why this one is just so drastically better now what you have in your setup is that you're you're basically double casting Kyrie EX, okay? What I'm doing instead though, I'm only single casting Kyrie EX, and instead I'm actually using the nominee right here in the second slot uh, to copy your prime Riku and Rock versus Roxas instead. Uh, now your Riku versus Roxas doesn't have anything, it's literally just vanilla. But that is completely fine just because of the fact we we're using him mainly for his abilities. He's basically working as a primary like debuffer at this point. Um, and he's actually fulfilling quite a few things. So you know how last time for your setup, okay, let's go back over here. Your setup, by the third slot, it is missing the upright defense debuffs, okay? By the second slot as well, you only have minus six general defense down. Well, in this setup right here, if we actually go to the second slot, we actually have our full general defense down right here now when it comes to setups the most important things in any setup at all whatsoever in this game is going to be general strength and general defense all right these are by far the most important stats stats in the entire game for anybody to focus on first the attributes like this and stuff these come second okay these are not nearly as effective if you don't have the general strength and general defense all right so make sure you focus on that so what this accomplishes right here is that by slot two because remember the riku versus roxas does provide a minus five general defense down debuff that means that just by from using Kyrie and using nominated to copy your riku versus roxas once you fully cap out the general defense down um, and you're still getting pretty much the near full max buffs aside from uh, upright of course for uh, for your strength buffs. Um, and you also have your max magic debuffs as well. And it also provides, the Riku versus Rockets also provides max upright debuffs as well too. So literally just by from slot two, you pretty much maxed out almost everything that you actually needed by that point as well, um, aside from the upright strength. The upper, upright strength is the only thing you're gonna be slightly lacking in. But that's okay because the fact that you do have some seven star medals. These seven star medals will provide plus three upright strength every time you use them. On top of the fact you have your HD Shion right here, copying one of them. So once you use HD Shion, this will go up to five. And then once you actually use your uh, Riku over here, that will go up to seven and you'll have everything maxed out. So in terms of stats, this is why this setup is just better. Uh, it's also worth noting too, though, that the Riku versus Roxas actually has a higher multiplier as well, potentially. Uh, which is from 418 to a 6.30. So depending on whether or not you're fighting a single target enemy, uh, he will do more damage there. And the 358 days is a 259 to a 428. And he does the most damage in slot three. So of course, in this, the fairy stars, he's gonna do the 428. Um, but that's actually fairly close to the low end of the multiplier for Riku versus Roxas, which is 418. So Riku versus Roxas is giving not only 
more stat buffs and debuffs, but it actually has better multiplier range as well. Um, now, of course, it doesn't have a skill, which is unfortunate, but that just shows that maybe you want to focus on trying to give that a skill if you possibly can. Uh, as you can see right here, too, like you have three metals in this setup that don't have skills. Um, your Riku over here, this Aqua, and 358 Days. Uh, the, the Riku versus Roxas. Your Shion over here is actually all right. Um, obviously, 7-star would be better. Anything 6-star would be better 7-star, of course. I'm um, just kind of pointing it out, just throwing it out there. And obviously, the same thing with uh, your HD nominee. But the main thing that I think you could do... Um, wait. But because of the fact that I know how hard it is to get fairy... <laughs> fairy metals right now to evolve like even just tier 5 metals and such uh your best bet is most likely especially at what i can what i can tell is probably your uh, your tier level and stuff like how how good of a uh how strong of a player you are just by looking at your album and such uh you're probably gonna be better off banking more on trying to get the seven star medals from banners than you are trying to evolve them so if i were you i would save your skills for more of the seven star medals you actually get from within the banners and stuff, which I'm assuming would be like kind of like how you did for these two right here. That's what I'm assuming. Um, so medals like this is where you would actually want to use your skills on your 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 best uh, attack skills on. Um, and once you do that, this this setup will drastically increase. To be honest, there's actually not too much I can tell you to improve this setup alone either, aside from just put skills and try and upgrade them to seven star if you possibly can. Uh, the only thing I can really advise for, to improve this setup right here is to really just try and get some more and better medals down the line. Because uh, even though these guys are doing well right now for you, uh, they are honestly kind of mediocre compared to all the other medals that are currently out there as of right now. Um, so other than that, one last thing I want to mention is that I would highly recommend uh, putting... If you, if, you, if you don't think you're going to get your Kyrie EX Plus or Shion EX Plus anytime soon, uh, I would highly recommend putting Second Chance on your Kyrie EX right here instead. Uh, just because of the fact that she is your primary buffer and debuffer metal, she's going to be on every single setup that you ever use that she's allowed to be used on. So like I said that for like proud mode and such. So because of that, having Second Chance on her and not ha worrying about having Second Chance on any other metal is going to be your best bet. Uh, if you really want defense, boost 3 max, you want to try and put that on a D on a turtle metal if possible uh, such as like prime violet or, or something uh, now obviously I don't I didn't see a prime violet when I looked through your album uh, but even just like DB3 max on your Zexion for example I see you have DB2 already on it but DB3 max on Zexion HD Zexion would be alright because he's technically a turtle metal as well because it does provide a good amount of uh, turtle buffs defense bus in other words but other than that that was pretty much it there's honestly not too much to uh tell you without any further uh questions or medals to add in your album there, were, there weren't really too many two medals in your album for me to actually <laughs> work with but other than that if you enjoyed the episode please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button it is the best way i know when i upload more videos such as this one i upload the kingdom key series every single sunday so if you're interested by all means follow the instructions at the beginning of the video but other than that my name is brian from kingdom Hearts and cross nation and i will see you guys in the next video peace